Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny. Well, it's mostly cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. Dow's up 536 points, S&P 61, NASDAQ 180. Russell's up three tenths, uh, 33 points. That's one six. That's really one and six tenths percent for the first three, nearly two percent for the Russell. Semi's up two and a quarter percent, 58 points to the upside. You've got gold trading up two bucks. Silver's down two pennies. Slates we crude up a buck 86. Natural gas up 10 cents. The 30-year Treasury up four ticks. He's printed at 128.07. Let's take a peek at those nine panel market update charts. We begin in the upper left-hand corner. We've got the ES Mini. What you can see here is the consolidation breakdown that occurred, which gives us a price projection of 37.57. That being said, a new profile, new daily profile has formed. The top of the profile is really at the uh, bottom and top of the consolidation pattern. That's at 39.54. So odds favor that that's where the ES Mini is headed to, is the top of that profile, 39.54. Now note, uh, this profile likely will not be confirmed until this evening, but uh, right now it's holding steady. The spot volatility index is well below its 50-day exponential moving average. It's below yesterday's low. So that's a bearish directional signal, if you will, for the VIX, just like the S&P trade above yesterday's high would be a bullish directional signal. Same thing with the NQ, which also has a new profile. Turns out that the top of its new profile is also right where you would expect the consolidation, a measured move to the upside to test to see if the consolidation breakdown is real or not. And that's at the 11,561 area. Uh, Apple right now today has got a nice uh, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern out there. So the NQ should continue higher. Again, that NQ target 11,562. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's really not doing a whole lot out there. And as long as it doesn't do a whole lot, then the markets are free to do as they wish out there. But it's holding support, which is at 103.64. Uh, Goldilocks traded above the top of its daily and weekly profile, suggesting a run to 1907. Silver suggesting a run to 2506. Lightsweet crude is trading above the top of its daily profile into a resistance zone created by the weekly profiles. That's in the zone of 7866 to 8075. We're trading out of 7822. We take a look at natural gas still holding at swing point low from back in the uh, November time, December time frame, the early December time frame. That was December. The S6 out there. A close below 525, as our Ann Brent pointed out yesterday, is likely going to lead to an A to B equals CD to the downside. We just don't have that signal as we speak. Folks, please stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.